Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be taking a look at what happens if John Marston decides he wants to skip work while living at Pronghorn Ranch. So this is actually going to take place in the epilogue and we actually get some secret cutscenes out of it, which is super cool. Something that I didn't even know you could see until one of you guys pointed this out to me. Uh, I actually got a couple of messages on Facebook saying I should check out uh, these cutscenes that occur in the epilogue. So again, if you have future things that you would like me to explore, or mysteries that you would like me to dive into, uh, check out my Facebook page. I have a link in the description. It's super easy to send me messages and pictures and photos and stuff like that on there. So if it wasn't obvious enough, you have to be in the epilogue in order to experience these cutscenes. And essentially how it goes is John Marston, Abigail, and Jack have returned to the Red Dead Redemption 2 world after several years of failing to strike it rich elsewhere out west. And now they are looking for good, honest work, and that leads them to Strawberry. And when they get the Strawberry, John inquires with the general store clerk about getting some work, and he points him in the direction of Pronghorn Ranch. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the Help Wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest. And it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> so long story short, John heads off to Pronghorn Ranch where he's actually just supposed to deliver supplies as sort of an errand boy. However, when he arrives at the ranch, there is a little bit of trouble. And uh, John steps in and ultimately has to save the day. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? 
It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. So as you guys saw there, those Laramie boys ended up stealing the wagon, and because of that, it's sort of a nice little job interview resume for John Marston, who ends up getting a job at the ranch. So that's the first part. That's what you have to do. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. So that is the first part in how you can actually get these secret cutscenes. You have to obviously make it to Pronghorn Ranch, and then you have to complete the very first mission. Now the reason why you have to complete the very first mission is because your family is currently not there. Your family arrives after you complete the wheel. Now that mission is called Simple Pleasures where John has secured a job at the Pronghorn Ranch and gets to work. He milks cows, he cleans up poop, and uh, basic ranch hand stuff. So once John's family has arrived at Pronghorn Ranch, they're gonna be set up in a little cabin. And the way the first part of the epilogue works is it's a little awkward. Like the game doesn't necessarily want you leaving the ranch. I mean, it's an open world game. You're free to go wherever you want, but there's a lot of things that are not available for you yet. Like for example, your weapons and your wardrobe and you only have a limited amount of money. You can't craft things at the fence. So there's a lot of things that are restricted. The game basically wants you to stay on the ranch. Well, what happens if you decide to leave? Now, I'm not sure for how long you're supposed to leave. I think it's about six in-game hours, but if you return to the ranch, something interesting will happen. This is what occurs. <laughs> Even gonna ask where you've been. That's not. My lord. What have I done to deserve this? Okay, so as you guys saw there, it was a really cool cutscene where John returns to the little cabin and Abigail is relieved to find him alive. And uh, they sort of have a little banter back and forth of, you know, I probably shouldn't ask where you've been. And then it sort of fast forwards to the next day and that's that. So it sort of simulates that John has been out and about off getting into trouble and not getting to work on the ranch. Now I wanted to figure out how many of these cutscenes we would actually have and how many were there. So I actually did the exact same thing. I went out and about, waited for about six hours, came back and I ended up getting another cutscene. And this is what happened with this one. 
I guessed you was dead. Me? I'm invincible. I was working. You were not working. You goddamn imbecile. So really cool stuff right there. We got another cutscene where John essentially embraces Abigail and Jack is there too. And he reaffirms to her that he's safe and he wasn't out and about getting into all that much trouble. So that is really cool. Now, I wasn't sure how many of these cutscenes we would have. I, I wasn't positive there would be an unlimited amount of them. So what I did is I went out for a third time. And upon returning, this is what occurred. So it looks like there is only two cutscenes because every time I return to the ranch after that, that is the only scene I got where basically what I would do is I would arrive at the ranch and it would sort of give me like a cinematic view before returning me to my character. And it does fast forward time as well. So that is pretty cool. Those are some secret cutscenes that you might not have known about that actually happen if John decides to skip out on work and leave the Pronghorn Ranch, which again, the game really doesn't want you to do, but you won't be punished other than a little bit of a, a cutscene right there. Like Mr. Gettys is not going to come yelling at you. Mr. Dickens is not going to fire you from your job. So there's, there's no consequences for literally spending days at a time away from your work as soon as you're hired, but you do get these really cool cutscenes, and that's something you might not have known about. But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. That's what happens when John Marston decides to skip work at Pronghorn Ranch in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What did you think of Epilogue Part 1? Did you think it was a, an enjoyable part of the game or did you think it was tedious and annoying? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating it would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.